Hey, what's up guys? Another quick update on the Wave project. So in this video, I want to show you two new features. One is user impersonation. So as an admin, you can log into any user's account. This way you can easily troubleshoot any problem that a specific user is having. The second feature is user profiles. So every user in your application will have a profile. And as the developer, I've created some really cool ways for you to be able to add some custom fields, such as an about section or a profile photo or a cover photo. So let's go ahead and jump into the demo and I will show you this functionality. Okay, so let me start off by showing you the user impersonation feature. So if I go up here to my account and I'm logged in as Tony Lee, and since I am an admin, I have this admin button. So then if I go to admin, I can then view the users of my app. And as I scroll down, I can see all these users. So let's say that John Doe is having an issue and he can't uh, update his profile. So we want to go into our admin and we want to impersonate this user. So now you can see that I am currently impersonating John Doe at gmail.com. And if I go up here, sure enough, we're at John Doe. So I can go to the settings and I can try and update his information and try and troubleshoot the problem that he said he was having. So then I can quickly go here to leave impersonation. And then simple enough, I'm back at my account. So user impersonation is really cool. You can then log in as any other user in your application. Next is user profiles. So if I hover over my user, I can then go to my profile. You can see that every user has their own URL which is at and their username. So you can go ahead and go into this template right here and update it to look and feel how you want it to for your application. And to make it easier, I've added some really cool features to be able to add user custom fields or profile fields. So you can see by default when they go to their profile settings, they have name, email, and the profile image. So what if we wanted to possibly add in about text area, and then we wanted to show the about on the user's profile page. Well, simple enough, we can go to our profile settings here. And you can see this section right here is where we have the name and the email address. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this email address. And instead of email address, we want this to be about. Okay, and I've also created a nice helper for you to use, which is called profile underscore field. So if we call profile underscore field, we can then pass it the specific type of input that we want this to be. So in this case, it is going to be a text area. And the second argument is going to be the key. And this is going to be how we reference it in our application. So for this case, I'm going to say that the key is about. So let me save that. Let me go back here and let me reload. And you can see that we have our about section here. And let me go ahead and just add some information and click save. And if I click save, you're going to see that nothing actually gets saved here. And this is just a security measure because we don't want users to be able to inject new forms and then submit it. So what we have to do is inside of our wave config, we need to specify which profile fields we want to allow. So in this case, I want to allow the about field. And let's say that I want to add some about info here. Okay, so I just updated my about, and I can go ahead and click on save. Now you can see that after I've saved it, it gets saved to my user profile. So just like that, we have an about section for every single user in our application. So let's go ahead and see how we can reference this inside of our profile. And let's say that I want to add it right here. I'm going to just create a new paragraph and give it a class of about. And then I'm just going to call the user and I'm going to say profile and the key that we used was about. So let me save that, go back here and reload. And just as simple as that, we've now add the about section to the user profile. So you can see that you can easily add your own custom fields and then you can display them here on the user profile. So let's do one more. Let's say that we want to add an image, maybe like a cover photo and then the cover photo, we could stylize it to be somewhere here on the background. 
So let's go back to the settings and let's copy this. Let's call this cover image. And we know that we want this to be a input type image and we want the key to be cover image. And we also need to add this to our wave config. Let's save that. Let's go back to our settings. And now we have this image upload. Let me go ahead and choose this image and click save. And just like that, we've uploaded the new user cover image or a background image. So then we could go to the user profile and we could possibly add the image right here. Let's just add this right there. We want to say image source. And I'm going to use the Voyager image helper. We'll say we want the image to be displayed. And this is going to be the user profile cover image. And let me go ahead and give it a width of 100%. Okay, so let's reload. And now, simple enough, we have the user cover image displaying on their profile. So I'm really excited about this feature. It's a really easy way for you to be able to add some custom fields for your user in your application. Thanks for watching and thanks for your interest in Wave. I look forward to releasing this around midsummer, maybe end of summer this year. I'm really excited to show you uh, what it's all about. Uh, it's been a lot of fun creating it and I'm excited to get your feedback. So until next time, I will see you in a future video.